we about to go ride this little fun road. Uh, that's like 
say my Harley really comes alive above 3,000 RPM and uh, a lot of uh, the secret about Harleys is they live or die at 3,000 RPM yeah, depending on your uh, setup and uh, purpose like a lot of the bikes that are just built just to tour they die at like 3,000 RPM like they might grab up to like 35 four grand but there's no power there and that's just the way they're set up they're made to lug around not just like not be absolutely hammered at like the higher rpms they're not made to turn these higher rpms my bike's specifically set up to turn on at 3000 rpms and like uh it pulls hard all the way to 6,000, you know. Um, not to say that it has no power below 3,000, it has plenty. Like, I have a, like, coming off of idle, I got 120 uh, pounds feet of torque um, at idle, which is ridiculous. I mean, the ability to get up, move, tour, be two up, it's all there. Oh, that's an interesting trailer. green elevator or something like that buddy's house tell him bring your ass to work about time to go to work well I got like 20 minutes hey you need to wake up get out the door it ain't but like five six minutes away but still yeah now I guess we're kind of the end of this thing I don't I'll end this video up here at the traffic light, but uh, yeah, that gives you a really good feel of uh, what I actually built this bike to be capable of and uh, what it can do. Like I was, I was pushing through there, but it wasn't anything like excessive or um. Like I said, that was pretty chill. The bike's capable of uh, hammering through there a lot faster, and any faster than that, like. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing on a on a public road. Um, like I said uh, this bike was built specifically for um, Tail of the Dragon, and I'm not completely done. I need to update my brakes, but um, uh, as far as I know, I think I've got the fastest like recorded um, time for a bagger, if you know what I mean, and. Uh, at least the fastest one I've seen. I'm sure somebody's probably done it faster. But um, as of right now, I think uh, I technically hold the uh, official record for a Harley bagger. Um, there's a guy on a Goldwing that flies through there. And I, I think I was pretty close to his time. But um, he lives there. He, he does it a lot more than I do. And uh, obviously, I've only ridden it like maybe 30, 40 times. I've got a decent amount of experience on that road, but not anything, uh, not anywhere near the level of a lot of guys, like, um, there's guys that will just live up there just to ride that road, and, uh, I'm nowhere close to that. Get a little front brake lock to settle the front end in. Like I said, I'm just holding with one finger, and then when I get out of the corner, I just let it go. It just, like, puts a little bit of tension on the brake disc, which dives that front end down, compresses it just, just enough to give you a little bit better grip. Uh, like, coming out of the corner, oh, it looks like something fell off, or, uh, they're doing some road construction or something up here. Looks like they're patching the stuff. Ugh. Looks like he hasn't packed it down yet. He's just putting it out there. He'll probably drive over it a whole bunch. Ah, note to self avoid this road for a little while. And of course, you got the railroad tracks. I'll stand up over on over this. Ponds on both sides. Ah, they're private, so can't really.
really fish those unless I talk to whoever stays there or owns them. And I don't know who owns them, so I'm not going to go over there. I'd love to, though. Like, there's that little pond right there. I like fishing little ponds. But a lot of stuff around here is starting to be marked or posting their trespassing. And uh, just probably from people that have fished it and uh, trashed the place. I know growing up as a kid, I used to be able to just... Uh, We'd get in the car or truck or whatever, and we'd just ride out there fishing. We'd pick up whatever trash we found out there and left it better than what, than what we found it. Now that one wanted to shift into first that time. This is a good fishing spot. You go on the left, there's a, uh, a little boat ramp. Good creek, a lot of branches. You know, it's from uh, down to the right, it's pretty deep up to uh, a couple bends down. So, good place to go kayak fishing. A lot of bass in there, catfish, brim, crappie. You know, all the general stuff. But uh, that's a good spot. Anyways, uh, just thought I'd take y'all on that little ride right there. Uh, get you a good feel of what uh what I actually like doing even though uh, there's not too many uh, opportunities over here in eastern North Carolina to ride like that I try to make the most of the ones that I know of I've ridden that road probably hundreds of times a bunch of different bikes um, it's definitely one of my uh, the better local roads to just kind of roll through you just gotta kind of watch a few of the little areas but uh well, until next time.